It's now time to get you posted on the very latest from the world of sports here on the AM show. My name is Asari Bediako and Ashley Young scored twice as Manchester United secured a 4-2 win at Watford. But the title hope of Tottenham was dealt a hefty blow as they lost 2-1 at Leicester City. Highlights of these games a little later on the show. But for starters, tension is brewing at Asante Kotoko's management of the club has clashed with the National Circles Council over a sponsorship deal with an alcoholic beverage company. Now, management say they are not aware of the deal. And joining us on the line is Public Relations Officer of the National Circles Council of Asante Kotoko. Thank you very much, Mr. Michael and Cancer, for joining us. Now, first question, was management of the club aware of that sponsorship deal? Well, good morning, and thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, I think that to begin with, um, it's been long discussion. It's been a long business discussion and uh, uh, long uh, uh, sponsorship arrangements that the National Circles Council began with the Happy Man Beaters uh, company. Um, in all these discussions, um, management has not been uh, officially been engaged as in terms of the discussions uh, by the simple reason that um, it is the National Circles Council that is uh, securing this deal. And for that matter, the National Circles Council as a separate entity distinct from Asante Kotoko as a club can negotiate for an agreement and contract when the benefits so described is to the benefit of the supporters and not mutual benefit to the supporters and the club as a whole. So the NCC then or thought it wise to, as it were, have these discussions with Happy Man Beaters just for the purpose of securing a contract or an agreement in terms of sponsorship for supporters, but not to Kotoko as a club. And so therefore, we, we did not at that time realize the significance and the importance of engaging management in that discussion. So, so as far as you are concerned, the National uh, Circles Council did nothing wrong, not informing management of absolutely the Absolutely did nothing wrong. We absolutely did nothing wrong. And um, just to clarify something, the National Circles Council has no representation on the management board of Asante Kotoko. If the executive board chairman has constituted the functional board of Asante Kotoko, the National Circles Council chairman would have been a member of the board. And some of these discussions would have been discussed at the board meeting. And so therefore, when it reduces the argument to management, we have no obligation to report anything that happens to the supporters from to management. Because that is why the National Circles Council is represented by the National Executive Council. We also have our leadership, which we operate within the confines of the law that regulates the National Circles Council. The National Circles Council are not regulated by the management policies of Asante Koto as a club. Mr. Kansa, um, according to a statement released by the management of the club yesterday, they are accusing you of using the logo of the club illegally for commercial gains. Well, I think that that is one of the few unfortunate incidents that I felt should not have happened. And, um, we could have adopted a more pragmatic and more concise manner and ways in addressing some of these challenges, if, assuming it still occurred. I think that the manner in which that uh, press statement was released was absolutely wrong. I think that it was born out of bad faith. And I feel that the one who um, initiated the process of issuing that uh, press statement has caused a lot of disservice to Asante Kotoko as a club and has caused a lot of disservice to all the Kotoko fraternity in general. Um, I believe strongly that the current management of Kotoko knows very well that the National Circles Council is a registered entity at the Registered General Department. And the National Circles Council registered as a registered entity was registered with a particular logo attached to the National Circles Council. So when we are talking legalities and whatever, let's go to the Registered General and pick the certificate that was given to us. And then we will know that the National Circles Council was registered as National Circles Council of Asante Kotoko. And the Kotoko means that it includes everybody who matters most in Asante Kotoko. If we are talking about logo, there are people who are selling paraphernalia of Asante Kotoko who are not accredited to do so. Have we been able to succeed in stopping those people from doing those commercials? We have not. 
When we go to the crash course, you don't know any time as I take a camus to a car. Any time I take a place a match with my people sell all manner of materials at the studio with Kotoko's logo embossed on them. Were those materials sanctioned by the management? No. So where lies this argument that they, they have possessive rights over the logo? The right you have over the logo, if you want to exercise it, should not be exercised against the National Service Council. Then it should be exercised against the third parties and the numerous businessmen who are producing replica cases from China and Hong Kong without official uh, accreditation from the club. Those are the people we should stop and not the National Service Council. Mr. Councillor, finally, before you go, uh, reports you are picking from Kumasi indicates that the executive board chairman of the club has threatened to resign if Mr. Kwekuan Ponsa, who is chairman of the National Circles Council, remains at post. What's your reaction? Well, I think my reaction is simple. Um, it is also one of the very, it's a, uh, very unfortunate things that is happening. I don't think that the uh, board chairman or the chief executive has to go to that extent by making this pronouncement. In the first place, they should have also realized or should have also been informed that the election of the National Circles Council chairman has no relationship with the chief executive of Asante Koto. Whether you are the board chairman of Asante Koto or you are the chief executive of Asante Koto, you have no business dictating who becomes the national chairman. And in fact, before he was appointed, there was a national chairman who was duly elected at Congress. So if he has anything to do, I believe that what he should do right now is to be engaging the delegates who rather select a national chairman so that he can build the candidate or he can show the candidate in the, ne uh, in the next uh, Congress when we'll be going for election to elect who the national chairman becomes. I think that that would be the best thing he could have done. But to issue out this threat or this threat or by threatening the supporters that if the does not resign, he will resign. I think that a lot of Kotoko supporters will be happy that he resigns and go so that we we'll look for somebody else to manage the club. Okay, thank you very much, Michael and Councillor, who is the public relations officer of the National Circles Council of Kumase Asante Kotoko. We are very grateful for your time, sir. Thank you very much, my brother, and have a good morning. Thank you very much, sir. So this is the AM show here on the Joy News channel. We are talking sports and Asante Kotoko was in the spotlight. There's tension between management of the club and the supporters' leadership. More updates in our subsequent sports bulletins here on the Joy News channel on Multi TV. So from Ghana, we go to England and Ashley Young grabbed a brace. He scored twice as Manchester United beat Watford 4-2 at Vicarage Road. So big win for Manchester United at Watford, but same cannot be said of Tottenham Hotspur, who were defeated 2-1 at the Kane Park Stadium. Leicester City won that game thanks to strikes by Jamie Vardy and Real Admirers. The big guns, the big boys are in action later today in the English Premier League. I'm talking about Arsenal, Chelsea and Manchester City. So the results of games in the English Premier League will be on the screen pretty shortly. And Stoke City will play against Liverpool, Chelsea versus Swansea, Bournemouth versus Burnley, Arsenal, Wacom Huddersfield to the Emirates Stadium, Everton versus West Bromwich, West Ham United, and Manchester City will welcome Southampton to the Etihad Stadium. So let's check out fixtures in the Spanish Copa de Rey. Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, Sevilla are in action later today. But yesterday, Madrid booked their place to the last 16 of the competition after drawing 2 2 with Fiona Brada. So Celta Vigo defeated Eibar by one goal to nothing at the Balados. Barcelona welcome Murcia to the Camp New Sevilla. Will play against Cartagena at the and the at their base. Ramon Sanchez been won. Let's go Madrid up against Elche, and Atletico Bilbao will welcome Formentera to the San Mame. And that's it for sports here on the AM show on the Joy News channel on Multi TV. For more sports news, you know where to go. Don't you the sports page on myjoyonline.com. You can also follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at joysportsgh. And on Facebook, we are at joysports. My name is Asari Bideako. Thank you very much for watching.